We now welcome UFC featherweight Bill Algio. Bill, thank you for the time, sir. Yes, sir. Who am I speaking with? <laughs> You're speaking with Christoph from the UFC. We're lining up a bunch of journalists for you. Oh, cool. What's going on, man? Not too much. Thank you for the time. We will take our first question from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cape Side Press. Okay. Hey, Bill. How are you doing? Good. Doing well, man. Um, so can you put into words making your UFC debut, short notice, former title challenger? What's it all like for you? Uh, man, it's been uh, quite a week. Um, I found out less than a week ago, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Uh, I think this is a great fight for me, and I'm ready to show a lot of people what I can do. You talked about that, obviously, a short notice, but you are coming off a fight earlier this month. Is that a big benefit in that you didn't have, you didn't necessarily get out of shape, or is it a little rougher because you've already been through a fight to make this quick turnaround? Uh, it depends on how that fight went, and uh, that fight two weeks ago went pretty well for me. Um, so I think it's going to definitely aid in this upcoming fight. I'm in shape still. Uh, the biggest thing was I thought the weight cut was going to be um, you know, the normal amount of terribleness, but it was actually pretty easy just because I am pretty light from the last fight. So that was a nice surprise. Going back to last year, it didn't go your way on Contender Series. Can you just talk about, you know, regrouping from that and going back to the gym to work on stuff? Of course. I mean, anytime you lose, uh, you have to kind of refocus on uh, what you need to get better at. And, uh, of course, that's, that's what I've done as well as... Uh, you know, throughout this pandemic, um, you know, I was able to train really by myself solo because I own a gym and uh, I'm still paying rent. So I went there by myself and just worked on the things I needed to work on. And, and it was nice to, to not be bothered uh, by anybody and just, just get to work. After going through all that, getting back in the win column, what would it mean to you to go out there and get your first UFC victory on Saturday? Oh, man, it would mean everything. Um, this has been a, a goal, you know, 13 years in the making. And it all happened, man, in a short amount of time. And uh, I couldn't be happier. And that would just fulfill the last 13 years. Hey, thank you and good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we will take our next questions from Pablo Santamaria with Noti and May Ecuador. Hello, Bill. How are you? Good. How are you, Pablo? I want to, I want to ask you, what's your nickname, Señor Perfecto? What's the reason to be called Señor Perfecto? <laughs> So I made a, a YouTube video of myself doing everything perfectly. And uh, the name Mr. Perfect has already been done before in wrestling and in uh, kickboxing. Uh, that's Giorgio Petrosian's name, uh, the doctor. They call him Mr. Perfect as well. Uh, so that's already been done before. Plus, uh, my wife's Puerto Rican, so I wanted to put a little Spanish twist on there. So Cindy okay. Perfecto was born. Okay, that's a cool nickname. Uh, and talking about the fight, do you think uh, this will be the toughest challenge in your career? Uh, not really. I mean, I fought guys that are uh, in the top 15, two guys that are in, well, one that's definitely in the top 15 in the UFC and one that's uh, going to be there soon. So, um, you know, I, I fought in pretty tough competition my entire career because I look for the toughest fight. So uh, this is just another, another fight. And stylistically, I really like uh, my chances. Okay, uh, you took this fight on short notice, so what can you expect from you for this fight? You can expect me to still be in shape from the last fight. I'm still sharp. Uh, you know, I'm not skipping a beat since two weeks ago when I fought. So uh, short notice isn't really a thing. I mean, I'm always training. I'm always fighting. This is what I do. Uh, I've taken fights on shorter notice, so this is not a big deal for me. This is, uh, you know, everything's looking good for me. Uh, fair play. And what's your prediction for the fight? Either a decision or knockout uh, via Bill Algio. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Bill, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Muchas gracias, amigo. Gracias a ti. And we'll take our next set of questions from Jim Barcelona with the Miami Herald. Thank you. Wondering during the pandemic and just going through this whole process, have you learned anything about training in this process? And we all talk a lot about what fighters are doing, if they had to change things, smaller groups, but have you learned anything that maybe has helped you in training just in general? I mean, every day I train, I learn something. That's, that's my goal. But, uh, for sure, uh, I was able to focus on myself a little bit more, uh, because really I had off of work for 
three, four months. My gym was shut down. It was a mandatory shutdown in Pennsylvania. So um, I got to focus on just this part of my career. Uh, you know, another part of my career is teaching everybody every day and, and being a coach and, and helping others fulfill their dreams. Uh, but the nice part about that pandemic, if there is a, a flip side, was I was able to focus on myself for three to four months, which was a nice change. At your gym, how was it just getting through all that and making sure that the gym was stable and keeping the do business? We've lost a lot of businesses during this, unfortunately. We have. We have lost a lot of business. and I think we're going to lose a couple more, unfortunately. Um, but luckily, I, I have a good following and a good base and a good just group of instructors uh, at my gym that, you know, a ride or die. And uh, once this kind of started to slowly come back to life, uh, we've taken the right precautions, making sure we're doing everything as, you know, humanly possible to uh, to open safely. And uh, luckily, my students are, are cool. They're reasonable. They, they understand, you know, um, that I have more uh, – my space is cleaner than any type of grocery store. While it's less foot traffic, it's less people, it's less likely to get it there than, than anywhere else. You know, so people still need to work out. They still need to be healthy. And uh, it's, as they found out during quarantine, it's pretty difficult to do it by yourself consistently and stay motivated. So that's what I'm looking to do is just improve immune systems um, and just make people healthier left and right. And following up on that too, have you taken anything from what UFC had been doing with just all the safety and the health measures and incorporated that with what you're doing up in uh, in Pennsylvania with your gym? Well, it's been hard. I've only been with the UFC like three, four days. So it's been hard to adapt. <laughs> I've, been in, I've been here. So it's, it's a pretty difficult to uh, transition. But um, no, I mean, these guys are crazy professional. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I was doing a pretty good job of having systems in place. But man, the UFC is just on another level with uh, being safe. And it's... Uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah, I'm sure even in three or four days, you can learn something from what they're doing and all the things they're doing. Lastly, for me, uh, the nickname that was brought up, that's very interesting. <laughs> were you into pro wrestling at all? Did you know Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning and follow him when you were younger? <laughs> uh, yeah, I knew who he was. Um, and I knew um, I had seen a couple of his videos and, and, and things he does. And, and I, I, uh, I got the nickname of mr perfect from i was saying earlier a youtube video i made and, and everyone just started calling me mr perfect after that but uh you know that had already been taken so i wanted to put a little spanish twist on there well it's interesting real quick because if you ever saw the kurt uh the mr kurt henning video that he did when he was mr perfect he was doing all sports and just doing everything well everything he did athletically was doing well and that was my video. I made uh, I made like a twenty foot putt. I made a bullseye a couple times. Um, I had a couple guests on there saying I was good at motocross and, and chess and uh, anything we could think of that would have been funny. And it was a funny video. It worked out, and the name kind of stuck from there. That's great. Hey, thank you for the time. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. That is all the time we had for you, sir. Cool. Thanks, guys.